Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got the pistol currently equipped in my character's hands here. This is the 30 carbine pistol, or .30 carbine pistol, or the Automag 3. 3, like Roman numeral 3. So like the third, Automag the third? I, it's probably not the name of it. It's Automag 3. It's a 30 carbine pistol. This thing sounds like it shoots big ass looking bullets. Right? That's some meaty, chunky pistol sounds, right? Obviously, it's a basic looking pistol though. It slides back, you know, you got your, your magazine that feeds into the pistol grip, right? This is all pretty basic pistol animations, right? The function similar to all other pistols. It's got really nice iron sights, so that's very clear, right? You just kind of point and annihilate. It's just the sound is really crisp. Now, we're going to obviously have to take a look at what kind of attachments we can put on the weapon here. I just want to shoot the gun off a little bit more though, because it just sounds crispy. It's punching. Maybe that's just for me though, because I do have a sound mod installed. Um, but it does sound nice and punchy and crispy. Big old bullet. The the thing is, because it suits its own custom bullet, you do have to like you know find bullets for it. You can't just like have these bullets automatically in your game. So, but uh, at least you don't need a separate mod. So what you do here is once you downloaded this, you have to find this. So obviously, first and foremost, you have to find the pistol. So this is added to the levels list. It's not something that you can craft. So I know some of you get annoyed by that. Same thing with the ammo though, right? So, but I mean, it's a big looking pistol. It's a big looking mean pistol. Obviously we're shooting this custom .30 ammunition because it's a 30 carbine pistol, right? Um, and it even, you can see if, I, I guess I can zoom in maybe. You can see the auto mag three on there, the .30 carbine. It's a big, that's a big fucking bullet as far as I understand. Like, you know, I, I don't know the comparison. I'm not a super gun nerd. I'm not going to like look it up right now or whatever. Like, what's the difference between a 9mm and .30? It's a bigger bullet. The thing's, the thing's going to hit. So obviously you have to find the ammo for yourself on weapon vendors and stuff as well. Um, we're going to take a look at the customization we could do with the weapon. Because I just kind of got the base variant here. I think it's compensated and that's it. So obviously we start out standard frame here. But obviously we work our way up. This is essentially functioning as receivers. Uh, we want to max out. We know advanced, right? There's no... Negative to advance besides requiring gun nut three and all the you know stuff that it requires 165 damage is a lot um, We have a short slide so you have improved hip fire accuracy that way Lowers the range as well, um, but you know You could also get the long slide so which lowers the accuracy so like it's a medium balance like both of the both the short slide and the long slide lower accuracy It's about less range more range so like more hip fire um, Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Let's see together. So this is my hit fire right now. It's pretty good. I mean, it's like, you know, pistol. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's see if it actually improves too much with this short slide on there, right? Like, if I feel like, I, I maybe, like, it's like, it's such a small, unnoticeable thing. Let's see if the long slide makes it worse in a way that we can feel like, I mean, I guess, it, yes, it is, it is, the circle is moving, right? Like, well, you know, obviously, okay, so here's the things. Obviously, the crosshair is not a circle, but it is a circle, you know, I hope you guys understand how crosshairs work. Like, it's a circle. The circle is slightly bigger. I mean, especially when we move around there, right? That's humongous, right? Like, it's, it's shooting on the move here. So let's take, like, this is, this gets really large, right? So let's see if we can show that off with the short slide again, if this stays tight. Because obviously, when I'm standing still, it's pretty tight. It doesn't get nearly as big. That's when you can see really the big difference there. That's hip fire accuracy. That's, I mean, that's the difference. If you care about that kind of thing, I, I mean, I'm going to take the range, though, okay? So you have wood grip, which is improved recoil hip fire accuracy as it is. The bake light grip, which is the same stuff, but lighter. The tape grip, which is in recoil control, but not accuracy, and the rubber grip, which is standard. So I think we want the bake light grip, even though I'm a big sucker for wood grain. It still looks wood grain anyway. The standard magazine, we can go medium and large. Um, obviously, you just want to go with the biggest magazine. I don't think there's any reason not to. Um, put a reflex sight, hollow sight, laser sight. I do love the laser sights here and a short scope. So you could even snipe with this up, and this is going to be crazy. Um, snipe in the relative sense of, like, you could put a scope on here. And take your long range pot shots. Now we have a 16 round magazine instead of, I believe, 8. So that is a doubled up with a large. I believe some medium will probably sit somewhere in the middle there, like 12. Right? If, if my math checks out, you guys can check my math. You know, pull out a calculator or whatever necessary to figure out if that's the true deal or not. Obviously, you can get some extreme levels of accuracy with this kind of thing. Right? With this short scope and stuff on here. But, like... I can kind of already tell, too, looking at these other sites. This, like, reflex site and stuff is going to be fine. I This is, like, um... It's fine. I mean, this is not, it's not necessarily obtrusive or whatever. I just hate sights on pistols, though, for the most part. I just, I just don't like it as a concept because it's like, it's not, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me, right? Maybe that's my personal thing. Maybe it's my personal beef. Hollow sight. That's worse. <laughs> I, I'm a big, 
sight person. I think laser sight, though, this particular thing, I've seen this on other weapons before, is the best shit I've ever seen. Because then you don't have to worry about the sight. Like, you get the third person effect, the, the, the same dot you get when you're aiming down sight in third person. You get now in first person. You just put the dot on the man and then you shoot him. Plus, I do believe over standard sights, you do gain still some of an accuracy boost. You gain just as much as of an accuracy stat buff as you would if you had the reflex of sight. Obviously, not as much as the short scope. But you get what is a nice, clean-looking sight. So obviously we had a compensator on there, like I said. So we have a suppressor, which does lower range. But this gun particularly comes with a heavy suppressor, which actually increases range. Now, the unfortunate thing about the suppressor on this gun is that we're going to really test it out. We're going to see. But this gun sounds so like, bar, bar. It's like it just hits, right? And I'm really afraid that this suppressor isn't going to do anything. Don't worry about that legendary mod slot. That's a different mod. We'll worry about that in the future, in a future video. No, no, no. It still keeps that like chunkiness to it. I, I hear it. Like, it's suppressed, but it's not, like, quiet, <laughs> I guess is the way that I'd put it. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much all the attachments. It's pretty basic on its levels, right? You get your receiver. It does have the cool laser sight. It's cool that you can put a short scope on there if you're into that kind of thing. It's got a suppressor, compensators, whatever you need. Obviously, get the big old magazine on there. comes with this custom ammunition. I'm, I'm excited to see how this functions, though, because it's supposed to be bigger and, and meatier in terms of its bullet size, I suppose, right? It's supposed to hit harder. It's supposed to be, like, a harder hitting than, like, a 10 mil pistol. Um, you know, everything that's in the base game. We'll see how it compares, I guess, to a 44 pistol, right? Like, not directly, um, but just, like, kind of relatively. Obviously, it shoots a lot faster. It's still got a decent... A decent fire rate. It's like the in-between. It's, 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 it's not like I've covered, not covered guns like this before. I've covered lots of guns in the in-between before, where it's like, 10 millimeter shoots really fast, does less damage. 44 shoots really slow, does lots of damage. What we're looking for is guns like this here in the middle. This, this 30... Carbine pistol, the Auto Mag 3. Such a long name. Why do guns have such a long name? Anyway, that's a side note thing. Um, I'm going to go around with the laser sight. I'm going to start popping fools. And we're going to have a good time. And I'll see you guys when we get there. Alright, everybody. Pulling up here. Zombies are in arcade mode. Just wanted to show off the running animation. I guess I don't. I forget to do that sometimes, right? Just want to make sure you understand. It's a one-handed running animation. Um, they should put away animation. Pull out animation. You know, basics of stuff. Nothing fancy here. The animations, like I said earlier, are just pretty much basic pistol anim. I mean, you know, animations and stuff. It's nothing crazy and fancy about this weapon compared to other weapons. Besides the fact that it shoots the point three zero ammunition, I've not seen a gun do that. This is the first gun I've ever seen even shoot this type of ammunition and you guys can you gun nerds in the comments i'm not judging you for being a gun nerd i'm a nerd of different things right but like you gun nerds in the comments can let me know like what's so cool about the point three zero ammunition there's a guy sitting here you're just sitting right there i mean that sucks obviously the one shot headshot with a sneak attack is a good deal right that is that is the way you want to kind of have your pistol function especially when we got this big heavy suppressor on there we got maximum range too like 300 range is crazy See if I hit the 70? Do. I mean, like, VATS is going to be the way to go. I think, like, I, I mentioned this in previous pistol videos all the time. Um, light this shit on fire? Excuse me? But it has a decent enough fire rate where, they, like, you get in situations like that, like, where you're a big, dumb, fucking idiot, and uh, you could spam it out. <laughs> but you obviously, I mean, the laser sight's not going to be really good at long range shooting like this, but you can take, if you have the time where somebody's standing still like that, there's a headshot. There's another one, right? Like, I love that. I'm, I, it's my preferred method of aiming, right? So my favorite things they added in the new Call of Duty um, was, like, canteen laser sights that you aim down sight with, right? Like, that was a whole wave. That just fucking flew by. Quick jaw combat rifle. That's pretty good, to be fair. Actual. I just want to put that out there. And, you know, I'm just checking the legendaries. I'm like, we're going to do another wave, though. we got to do third-person shooting here. Um... I'm going to make sure the weapon functions in the person. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, you know, I have no reason to believe that this is going to be weird or have some kind of issue with it at all. Right? I just I just don't believe that that to be true. But, you know, at the same time, we'll see how it goes. More raiders. I mean, obviously, this is the same aiming now. We're just, we're, we've are just hit consistency layer with the, the aiming, right? We're just always putting the dot on the man. Pop goes the head. I mean, I like the, the white HUD color. Like, I've been using that since, like, I learned that you could do that, right? Like, from the game came out. Uh, I'm not trying to hide, but I'm also two-tapping these mans without sneak attack criticals, really. I don't know why I'm really slow now, though. That's weird. Like, I reloaded the gun in the third person. If I go to the to first person, does it fix? Or is it just is it running into bodies? Or... And now I move fast. Okay. 
I'm just checking things out. That was weird. Really, I, I'm gonna double check this. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna shoot somebody else, right? I'm gonna reload the gun. That sucked. I'm bad at third person, you guys. I promise. That's shooting the wall. Okay, reload the gun. Do I move slow as shit? No, no, no. It's just sounds like running into bodies or something. I was like, I, did I find a bug? Sometimes I find bugs, right? Sometimes you guys mod authors can't cover everything, and they can't cover things on consoles because they're on PCs or whatever the deal is. And then I have to find the bugs for them. But then there's no bugs here. This thing is seemingly functioning just fine. I just suck ass at third person shooting. This really is really the deal. Okay, I'm gonna go back to first person because I just immediately feel better. I mean, I like third-person melee stuff, but I mean, that's a different thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. Two ways. I mean, it's a pretty... It's a good pistol. There's nothing wrong with it, necessarily, right? It's a... You know, it has its benefit to using its own custom .30 ammunition. Um, it's, it's a negative in its own aspect, though, because obviously you have to find .30 ammunition, right? So I use a mod called Synth Sense. I've covered this in the video before, but that allows me to get the ammo... When enemies when they die will drop the ammo type that I killed them with essentially so like if I have my point through zero pistol here I can I can just refill ammo from that and that's that's one way to go about doing that but obviously it's a deal where like you're going to struggle to find ammunition and I know being added to the level list is a problem for some people too because they don't want to have to go to a weapon vendor and be like oh does the weapon vendor have it yet and sometimes it takes 72 in-game hours in order for the weapon vendors inventories to reset so you have to like download the mod sleep for seconds 72 hours and then go buy the gun, and then you could buy like 30 bolts or whatever the fucking Arturo's carrying, and then you gotta, you know, do that. But other than that, it's a solid gun. I mean, there's nothing spectacular about it, I would say. But it functions as well, it sounds really nice. It's got that cool laser sight, short scope. You know? It hits hard. It's that medium, medium fire rate. It's still, it is pretty good damage, to be fair. It's not 44, like, it's not maximum pistol damage you've ever seen. Obviously, here in the fog, this is when we're losing laser sights. I can't see shit. Um. <laughs> But it is a good gun. It is a good gun. It's a solid gun. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure you check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda Dynamite page and the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos of me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.